Five things China did before Russia invaded Ukraine. 1. China stockpiled tons of gas. Six months before the invasion, Chinese entities secured liquefied natural gas. They bought over 91% of global long-term LNG contracts. China typically focuses on future deliveries, but at that time, it locked in near-term supplies. Nine of the 20 state-run companies were first-time gas buyers. China may have anticipated price hikes, but the timing was too suspicious. Beijing may have known about Russia's plans. 2. Xi Jinping and Putin held a choreographed meeting. The 2022 Winter Olympics were held in Beijing. Xi opened the event on February 4, 2022. Democratic leaders shunned the ceremony over China's rights abuses. Meanwhile, Xi drew support of allies. One of them was Vladimir Putin. He appeared with Xi in a calculated show of solidarity. They proclaimed a friendship with no limits. The leaders issued a 5,300-word statement. China backed Russia's demand to halt NATO expansion eastward. They denounced alleged U.S. interference via color revolutions in former Soviet states. They also urged the U.S. to drop missile deployment plans in Europe, Asia. Russia and China stand against attempts by external forces to undermine security and stability in their common adjacent regions. The statement read, 3. Russia and China sealed a major 30-year gas deal. The deal was signed during Putin's visit to Beijing. Gazprom has a monopoly on Russian gas exports by pipeline. It approved a new supply to CNPC, a Chinese company. Gas should flow in two to three years. The pipeline will connect Russia's Far East to Northeast China. The Kremlin stated that the deal would last 25 years. The Chinese industry claimed it was 30 years. Russia has been sending gas to China through another pipeline. The power of Siberia began pumping supplies in 2019. In 2021, it exported 16.5 billion cubic meters of gas. Russia had aimed to supply China with 38 BCM of gas by pipeline. By 2025, the New Deal added a further 10 BCM. It also strengthened the ruble in the Russian stock market. 4. China lifted restrictions on Russian wheat imports. Ukraine and Russia supply a third of global wheat. Wheat futures jumped 5% when Russia attacked. Surprisingly, China appeared well prepared. In late February, Beijing lifted restrictions on Russian wheat imports. China allowed Russian wheat from all regions. Previously, China had banned imports over dwarf bunt fungus. The disease could devastate wheat and crop yields. The decision to lift restrictions was made during the Olympics, but it was announced only after the invasion. Many interpreted it as China aligning with the Kremlin. Beijing didn't condemn the attack. Instead, it urged parties to exercise restraint. It also accused the U.S. of fueling fire in the region. 5. China allegedly asked Russia to delay the war. The Kremlin's timing may not have been a coincidence. In 2008, Russia attacked Georgia in the middle of Beijing's summer games. This didn't sit well with some Chinese officials. In 2022, China knew about Russia's plans in advance. She reportedly asked Putin to postpone invading Ukraine 